not asking you anymore. I'm telling you what we're doing. Do you understand? No. Do you understand? No. Do you understand? No. Just sit down. Video difficult to watch. Douglas County police officers arrest an 11 year old autistic child during a school day. He was apparently left in a police car alone for hours. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham, and that boy's parents are outraged over how their son was treated. Now there's a lawsuit. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has more on our top story at 6. Jacqueline, you talk to the boy's parents. Of course, they've got very strong feelings about what happened. Jim, I just talked to the mom about an hour ago, and she's still upset by this. The incidents that happened here at Sagewood Middle School, and she says her son may never feel safe talking to a police officer ever again. I'm not going to hurt you. A video the ACLU released shows a portion of what happened. Well, I've asked you, and I'm telling you. Gonna go there, okay? The ACLU is calling the child, who is Hispanic, AV. He was in an effective needs classroom at Sagewood Middle School when a student wrote on him, causing him to be upset. The lawsuit claims AV poked the other student with a pencil, but the sheriff's office says they got a report he'd stabbed the classmate with scissors. AV had left the classroom when school resource officers with Douglas County Sheriff's arrived. We just want you to walk with us, okay? Ow! Just walk with us. I got him. That's when the struggle begins as they cuff and bring him to the patrol car. Look at me. Ow, you're Look at me. AV's mom says he has autism and says the officers demonstrated a lack of training when they approached him in a threatening manner. Looking at the video, I'm just shocked like how much they were touching him, his arms and grabbing him and, and his neck and um, just just you know <laughs> yelling at him. You can walk. You can walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. We believe that AV's rights under the Americans with Disabilities Act and under the Fourth Amendment were violated. Ariel Herzberg is a lawyer with the ACLU representing the student's family. Herzberg says footage goes on to show the child was left in the patrol car for hours where he became agitated and could not manage his emotions. The whole thing was handled horribly. I think there was many other measures that could have been used. <laughs> AV was brought to a juvenile detention center on charges of assault and resisting arrest. His parents had to post a $25,000 bond. And we want to ensure that Douglas County students don't experience similar harm in the future. Now, the sheriff's office tells us they are committed to protecting the community and that this video was edited. Now, we've also requested the raw video. The school district here says that it is not commenting at this time. In Douglas County, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.